Hey there, before we get started, this video is sponsored by my favorite game engine, Unity. It's April now and it's time for the spring sale. If you haven't seen the spring sale before, it's another one of those amazing lightning deals where things go 80% off. It's kind of the best time to get great deals. And in this video, I wanted to share with you the best deals or the biggest savings, starting with one that's $400 off, and then go down to a couple of the lower priced ones that I really like personally and got highly recommended by my viewers. Speaking of viewers, if you're watching this and you're not already subscribed, please consider hitting that button or hit the like button so that you see the next video and maybe you'll subscribe after that. So let's start with the first asset or the biggest deal in this giant bundle because I think that saving $400 is probably the most exciting option. It might be out of your price range. If it is, don't worry. We're gonna get down to ones that are as low as $12 at the end. But this one is... I think the biggest savings and probably the most exciting for people. This is the Procedural Worlds World Building Bundle. If you've seen or heard of Gaia before, these are the same guys that made Gaia. They just made a bunch of other cool tools and then put them into this big bundle. So this bundle includes Gaia, which does world and level generation. Gina, which is like city, town, and more, I guess more level generation. Gaia does the whole world. Gina does like levels and playable areas. Sector for their live streaming of areas. So if you want to have a big world, world and stream in regions or scenes this is a nice little tool for that and make it nice and easy or they have their ambient sound effects which i have to be honest i haven't actually looked at at all and pegasus that's included which is a ai or pathing system i've seen it mostly used for cutscenes, but i believe you can use it for npc ai pathfinding and all that logic as well so this seems like a great deal if you can save the 400 dollars off if you can get it for 100 instead of five great option. I would definitely jump on it. I already have this tool though, so you won't have to race me to get that 80% off. Now let's talk about one you are going to have to race me to, and that's the Sci-Fi Characters Mega Pack. This thing is from Proto Factor, and I just love the Proto Factor art. I don't know if you've seen it. There's tons of stuff out there, but this pack had a lot of really awesome sci-fi characters, and lately I've been working on a sci-fi game for my game architecture course and thought maybe I'll start pulling in some of these and also just make a full-on sci-fi RPG. So I'm definitely going to get these and start playing with them, at least experimenting, and maybe putting them into a game. So if you want this bundle, make sure that you uh, get it quick, because I'm sure it's going to go fast. I can't imagine that this thing's going to last more than a couple minutes once it goes live. So jump on that one right away. I, I know I am. I said, I'll be racing you. So We'll see who gets it first. The next biggest discounted item is one that might actually make building an RPG easier. If you don't want to write all your own code, you just want to get started and maybe grab some other assets and put them into a game, and check out RPG Builder. It's an asset that lets you make an RPG without having to write the code. Now, I haven't used this one myself, but it did come pretty well recommended in my comment section and from other people that I've talked to. I think it's still under pretty active development and has an active Discord channel as well. Seems like it's definitely worth checking out if you want to build out an RPG and you don't want to write all the code yourself or just want to get started with one quick. So, I think I'm going to maybe at 80% off, I'm definitely going to try to grab it and give it a shot, see what it's like, and at least what I can learn out of it, even if I don't use it to build an RPG myself. This next pack is another one that I really want to grab and I've been considering, and I think I'm going to probably race you to as well. This is the Monsters Ultimate Cute series. This is a character pack that's full of characters that kind of remind me a lot of Pokemon. They've got a bunch of upgrades, and I thought that this might be a neat set of characters to pull into the auto battler that we have for the game dev show every Sunday where everybody, their characters all fight. I thought maybe after you win a fight, like so the YouTube subscribers or people in chat, their characters fight, and I thought maybe after you win a fight, you upgrade and become like the bigger one, then the next fight you upgrade again could be like a, a neat thing to do and I can come up with lots of cool ideas for this. The upgrade thing alone I think is really neat. If cartoon's not your style though and you want to do something more realistic with a ton of additional assets that you can drop on and, and add into the pack, check out the Monster Bundle. It's got Medusa, the Minotaur, a Troll, and this really cool Cobra Snake. Now the thing that I really like about these assets and all of the Infinity PBR ones is just how customizable they are. They've got blend shapes for all kinds of different things so you can adjust and randomize these characters. You're not going to have two Medusas that look the same or two Minotaurs that look the same. But you can also let your players just do character customization and add on all kinds of different weapons. They've got weapons packs and armor packs and a bunch of other cool characters that all just go together. Now I'm always a sucker for fancy pretty environments probably because I can't make them myself. I 
really struggle to make anything that looks pretty at all, but environments are really difficult for me. And when I saw this poly-style medieval dungeon on the list of assets, I thought at 20 bucks, I definitely want to grab this and try it out. Again, I was thinking about putting in those cute monsters into my auto battler for the Sunday show. It's also thinking about maybe pulling in this environment as a, as a new scene to kind of liven it up and change out the graphic style a little bit. So this one is on my list of ones that I will be trying to get. I don't know if I'll get it first, but I'm going to give it a shot at least. I think it looks really cool, and I uh, just want to see what it looks like in a game. Plus, these these assets, these environment ones, they always kind of like load me up with ideas. I get in, and I start looking around the world. I'm like, oh, I could make a little game where you do a thing from this spot to this spot, and it really just inspires me. So I like to grab some environments every now and then, and this is kind of the next one on my list outside of sci-fi stuff. Again, been a, on a big sci-fi kick lately, but... Um, the medieval and the fantasy stuff is still really cool. So this is the one that I think I'm going to grab as my next fantasy environment. Now I want to share a tool that I haven't used, but it's from a developer or publisher that I just love their assets. So I wanted to briefly share it and probably grab it and try it out myself. I don't have a specific use for it, so I might not race to it, but I think that it's really neat. It's this Toonie Colors Pro 2, and it allows you to just take a character and then make it into a stylized character so that you get that cool stylized effect. And I think there are quite a few different options for how you can set that effect up. If you want your game to look like Borderlands or some sort of stylized character, then just grab this pack, drop it on, and It'd be pretty cool, pretty simple to do, and just adds in some neat extra flair. So I want to grab it, try it out, and just kind of play with it, see what I can do with my existing characters and what kind of fun stuff I can do. Again, don't have any great ideas for it, but if you have a cool idea for something you would do with this, this pack, drop it down below. I'm kind of curious to get inspired and get some ideas for things I can do with it once I've got it. This next asset looks great, but it's for a game type that I just don't build. So you don't have to worry about racing me to it, but you'll probably have to race the thousands of other people because it looks extremely popular. This is the top-down game engine that allows you to just build a top-down game, give you a lot of starters and the setup to get going quickly with a 2D or 3D top-down game. If that's your thing, you like building top-down games, this is probably worth checking out. The reviews seem great. It's got five stars with 224, so I assume it's awesome. If you've used it, though, drop a comment down below and let me know if it's really cool, really great, or if there's some reason that people should consider another thing. But at this price, I don't see how you could. Umotion Pro is one that's been recommended to me by quite a few people. A lot of my close friends and other game developers have said, hey, you should probably go try out this Umotion Pro. I used it. It was really cool. It allowed me to make my own animations. I feel like I'm a pretty terrible animator, so I haven't really dove in, but maybe it's something that I should give a shot. If you have any sort of animation skills, though, or you're just trying to get animations working in your game and you're kind of running into problems or trying to deal with how am I going to get this done, this seems like a very worthwhile tool. It'll allow you to do full-on character animation, a lot like you would do in an external animation tool, but do it directly in Unity and see it. And it might also be a really handy thing for actual animators. I'm not sure on that. If you're an animator and you've played with this, let me know if it's something that's actually useful to use in Unity. Do you get some value out of doing some animation directly in Unity, or is it not that useful if you're actually a full-on animator? I think for a programmer and designer, it makes a lot of sense. I'm really curious about it on the the art side though. So if you got thoughts on that, please just drop a comment and let me know. This next asset's also a tool that I think is handy for designers and artists, and it came as the most recommended one. So if you're a subscriber and you watch my community channel, this is the one that everybody recommended the most, maybe because the price is low and it's just handy. This is the Magic Light Probes. It'll automatically place your light probes for you now. That's just something that I'm not good at myself. So a tool that automates and just does it for me and knows all of the things that I might forget to do or don't even know to do, I think is super handy. And the fact that a lot of my subscribers recommend it means that I feel like I should give it a shot too and, and try it out. So if you've used this, let me know what you think too. I, again, haven't used it myself, but it seems and just looks super easy to use. So I'm going to give it a shot. The last asset I wanted to cover is one that I've used in a lot of YouTube videos. You've probably seen a flashy blue UI that I've been putting into quite a few different videos, and that's this Shift Complete Sci-Fi UI. Now, it seems like it's just a little UI pack with some textures, but when you actually grab this pack and install it, 
it is super interactive. It's got sound effects, animations, all kinds of cool little controls that just make sense in a sci-fi game. And as far as UIs go or sci-fi UIs go, this is probably the number one that I would recommend personally. Even if it's not 80% off, it's only 20 bucks at 80% off. You definitely should grab it even if you only get it at 50% off. I would definitely recommend grabbing this one. The art is amazing. It's set up well and it just feels like a nice clean, good sci-fi UI. Now, if you want to see that UI in action, make sure that you subscribe because I'll be using it in some future videos. And if none of these assets looked good to you, then just check the link down below. There's a whole bunch more options out there and a lot of things that you've got a great opportunity to save a ton on. So go check them out just by clicking the link, subscribe, share, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, before I go, if you haven't already heard, I'm putting on a game dev conference at the end of May for Unity developers called Game Dev Guild. During that conference, we'll be teaching all kinds of cool, interesting new techniques for Unity developers and giving away a lot of cool stuff like a bunch of awesome art assets. So if you're interested in that, just check out gamedevguild.com. All right, goodbye again.